hello guys just before the video starts do me a big favor like the video comment on the video subscribe to the channel because youtube loves interaction and a lot of people watch you just don't interact so do all that for me and definitely check out drivermatty.com enjoy the video thanks for tuning in why are electric cars so bad in the winter now a lot of people think it's because you're putting the heating on loads not really it's not really a lot of new electric cars now got heat pumps so all the batteries produce heat while they're being used and then the car kind of drags that heat away and pumps it into your car so the actual efficiency of the heaters and stuff is actually quite good this day and age um the actual main problem with electric cars in the, in the winter is actually just the efficiency of the batteries now the problem you've got with this right and it's a big problem is when you look at what what you'd get range wise this got caught me on the model s by the way so i think the model s on paper this one has a small battery was 280 mile on paper right in the real world i get about 200 220 in the winter i get even less so when you're looking at an electric car you've got to not look at what you'll get in real world you need to look at what you'll get in real world winter because it's even worse than summer so a lot of these charts that you google and everything else i'd even knock off a little bit more for in the winter months so technically right i can tell you now technically i can get free manchester airports in the summer seriously i could do liverpool manchester airport and back liverpool manchester airport and back liverpool manchester airport and back so it's around 60 180 miles Give or take, depending on where the pickup is and the drop off is and whatever, whatever. I can get free Manchester airports in the winter with the heat on and if any inefficient batteries and etc. etc. I can get two Manchester airports. That's how much the winter affects my car. Now I've got an older battery, so my heater does affect the range more than others because I haven't got a heat pump in this. And also, the older batteries are less efficient in the winter, they charge slower and generally everything's just poor in the winter so a lot of people think that you're going to be driving around in the winter with your coat on and don't put the heat on it's not that it's the fact that the batteries are just less than efficient do you know what i mean so you're suffering driving around with the heat on off with your coat on to try and save your lecky and it doesn't make a dramatic amount of difference the main difference in the winter is out of your control it's literally just the efficiency of your battery so the best way i do to try and prolong um the battery is i normally drive a little bit slower so normally i drive 70 obviously um obviously it's against the law so i never do 77 but i normally do 70 bang on and then um up and down the motorway no problems and i get really good range where in the winter i'll probably try and hit like 65 just try and conserve a little bit extra battery to make it go a little bit longer but i've got the heating on i've got the aircon on in the summer i'm that type of person is i bought this car because it's a nice place to be in it's a lovely drive it's comfortable i don't want to be restricting myself by having me heating off or me cut hey all right all right thanks for thanks for booking in with me mate uh have you got a coat have you got a scarf have you got gloves because it's freezing in here because you just booked a nice service and there's no heating because the lucky's crap. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You can't do it. Do you know what I mean? So my nice and cozy in here, 21, 22 degrees, lovely and warm, and um, everyone's happy. But yeah, it is a shocker on how bad electric cars are in the winter, and it does make a difference. So going forward, and you're looking at your lucky car, just say as an example, I think on average it's about 20% you lose on a normal thing not in the winter so just say your car advertises it does 300 yeah realistically you're getting 240 realistically in the winter you might be getting 220 210 seriously so if you need to work out because i've said with lucky cars you need to make sure that it lasts the full home charge do you know what i mean so if you need 150 miles a day yeah charge a home charge you get two people a mile it's brilliant you got to make sure that your car does on average over 150 mile a day for it to be beneficial because the rapid charges are stupidly so expensive so when you're doing the math just make sure you overestimate it i never overestimate it for the winter do you know what i mean um so just say i need 200 miles right you're probably looking at a car of three 350 miles do you know what i mean in the winter you're probably getting two two 220 to 250 
in the summer, sorry, than in the winter. You're probably getting closer to the two. And it's pure just the, as well as you don't want to suffer. You don't want to get anywhere near the miles that you need because you don't want to be driving a 60. You don't want to be driving with the heat off. You want to enjoy your experience of having a lecky car because it is a nice place to be. And once you go lecky, it is hard to go back to a diesel or back to an engine car. Honestly, it's mad and hard to explain. But I hope this video will give you a little bit of insight. It's not as much as the heater and charging your phone or whatever, whatever. It's all about the efficiency of the battery. In in uh, efficiency of the batteries during the colder months and also as well the rapid charging is slower during the colder months as well because your batteries are inefficient and can't swallow up the charge as quick thanks for um, tuning in guys uh, i don't know if this is going before christmas if it is i hope you have a brilliant christmas and a new year and all that jazz check out drivermatty.com as per usual everything driver matty's on there and uh, yeah make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you next time see you soon